I don't know what oh 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 there I go. There I go. There you Who's go. that handsome man's voice? It's like nah. I don't know what you talking about. <laughs> Fuck you, nigga. <laughs> Alright, let me stop eating. They ain't trying to hit on ASMR. I got enough left. You to you keep trying to plug that shit, bro. You done said that shit twice now. You keep trying to plug that Maybe shit. Maybe I got a channel on the secretly got a channel on the shit. You know how you be trying to slide Next. shit in and see how your, other, how your niggas feel about it. Like, <laughs> make sure you're not the only one. <laughs> Next thing you know, you search up Zonated Castro, motherfucker, and pop yeah. up with him eating on that on Twitch and shit. <laughs> if I click your link in bio and I see... Uh... I'm going to see some hot news. <laughs> <laughs> you see... First month only four ninety nine. Oh no! Oh shit! More than that? Fuck that! Five bones? Now nah, you got to get them hooked, just like selling drugs. You give them a little taste. Twenty five cent first day. Only plates. That's what we gonna call that. <laughs> only <motherfucker>. plates. <laughs> only plates. No day. Facts. Shit. You know, it's funny listening to the episodes. You and Kick would make like your the tone of your voices. Uh, that would make a dope group. Dope just, what kind like of rap, just rap, the group. tone of y'all voices. Yeah, like, I be like, damn, that voice. I love the tone I, of your voice. I got the voice through a lot. First of all, that sound weird, my nigga. But no, uh, <laughs> I'm, a, I'm an audio engineer. I I'm, know, I'm <laughs> fucking with you. But nah, yeah, I can do a lot of shit with my voice. But I just you mean by that. Choose bucko? not to. I wish. See I here, <laughs> yeah. Let's go. So what you mean by that, Bucko? <laughs> Fuck out of here. I wish I could. I mean, like, I could be a caster. I could be a spokesperson, like, because I have the voice for that. But well, about if they bring movie phone back. Mm. Movie what? Movie phone. That's how you check movie times back in the day. You dial the number and it was automated. It told you the time. Hey, like I said. God now, damn. Now people wearing five-inch seam shorts back in the day. Basketball players used to wear them shorts too. You remember? Yeah. Kiss Did y'all have yourself. to call that shit on a rotary phone? <laughs> <laughs> I don't think that old. <laughs> <laughs> By the time they developed uh, IVR, interactive voice recording, we had t- touched them. Oh, shit. <laughs> but there's some towns like um, down the shore... Like uh, back home now, probably, but back then at the shore, at my friend's shore house, the phone was still rotary. Mm. So you either had to use like one of them pulse phones, you would buy them and go, it would make the same pulses as the uh, rotary dial turning. Mm. Second thing is, Zach, I would love to plug into your brain because we'll be talking about like red paint, and Zach would be like, you see, they put a new actuator in the Tesla engine. <laughs> <laughs> what sparked that thought in your head? That's facts, yo. His <laughs> shit be popping up random as hell. I miss my guys. Facts. All right, you want to get this started? Cause uh, let's get it popping. Yeah, we're doing two episodes today. Yes, sir. And I remember the lights, guys. They I need a banner. No. I need a banner. I've been look thinking of something to fill this to white. To go board. right up and down, right? Yeah. But something every time I see some dope, it's like landscape. Mm. So, we, yeah. I mean, cut it in half. we can get our, our name on the poster going straight down, right? Maybe. I thought Maybe. you have like a glowing up sign or something. And then glowing up sign? Yeah, with the I mean, you can put LEDs around the, the bitch. Like, nah, nah, yeah. like, I'm talking about like the sign that glows with the lettering of the name and all that shit. And, oh, oh like, this nigga talking about one of them special shits yeah. with the, like the, like, like, the old school, like the old school name belts they used to say the shit. Whoa, no, 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 not that type, <laughs> not that shitty ass shit. I'm talking about. The shit you see in the liquor store how it says Miller Light and them type of tube signs. Yeah, it's called the, oh, yeah, the neon you said it's called sign. what? Neon? Neon sign. Oh, this neon sign. Yeah, that's what yeah. I meant. Yeah, that would I, look I crazy. honestly thought it was a Because every time we could shit. probably have an intro go blam, 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 and it flicks on like... Oh, okay. Can't you do that post? See, you asking for a lot. Because in reality, you just got to get a video of it coming on. Mm-hmm. And then you just start it off at the beginning, and then when you start, it's just already going to be on now. Yeah, yeah pretty much. You use saying. a mask. We yeah. are talking about this shit about... mid podcast. Yeah, y'all know mid that. podcast. Right. <laughs> well, we should probably start the podcast. Facts. We practice. Let's... It's been a couple. Facts. It's been a minute. It's been a couple. Let's weeks. start this shit. Ladies up. and gentlemen, thank you very much. I am what I am, and I'm going to be the very best of what I am. And for those who don't like me confidentially, I don't give a damn. I'd like to thank you for letting me be myself. Welcome back to Warm the Crib Podcast, episode 17. I'm Ramon. I'm Daria. And I'm Zach. And we're back. About fucking time. <laughs> <laughs> Circumstances, so apologize. We probably should make a post from now on. Yeah. 
Yeah. yeah. yeah. I, it's fucked up. And I realized that shit like yesterday. Like, oh, I probably should have just posted something. Yeah, just make was... a video. Like, hey, guys. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I definitely should have Don't wake up too early Thursday because no. <laughs> nothing to expect. I'm probably sitting there at your computers and shit on your phone waiting for that notification to pop up. We but, apologize. Yeah. No, work shit, vacation shit. So Life shit. It's Speaking shit, of shit. which, how was Georgia, sir? It was all right. Kind of trash. But hey, shout out to my Georgians. Yeah. Stay kind of boring. I ain't going to lie to you. After being down there for a whole week. Where was you at, though? I went to Atlanta. Went it was Atlanta. okay. I ain't going to a strip club, so that's what I'm saying. I'm not going to a strip club throwing 200 on no ass, and I'm not getting no ass, all right? Yeah, I feel if you. If I throw that. 200 on some ass, I need some ass. I'm not, Said, I'm not for, trying to throw 200. Favor for a favor, bitch. That's... I'm not trying to throw 200 to get blue balled in this bitch, bro. Ah, oh, yeah. <laughs> Hell to the no. You know, it's funny. I'll tell a quick story. I had a friend. So I was usually... The oldest in my, my my circle. So I always took pleasure in taking my friends when they're of age, taking them to their first strip club. So one of my friends who will name name anonymous, but if he watches this, every anybody who knows him will know the story, but fuck it. Um, so I take him and I give him this speech right outside. I said, yo, these chicks are gonna seem like they want you. They're gonna talk it up like they're all into you and they want to be with you. They're trying to, they're doing their job, they're just trying to get money, no different than a waitress. <laughs> working really hard to get a good tip at the end of the meal. So he's like, bet. First place we took him in, and he was one of them niggas probably like you that had a beard at like f- five and no, shit. Well, fuck. These niggas on broke hormones nah, at five. I, <laughs> <laughs> so nah. Like, nah. So long story less long, take him into the first spot, and this was a spot where you had to be 21. Take him in there, meets his girl, and we told everybody, tell everybody you're just 22 or whatever. And the girl actually likes him and wants to hook up with him. Mm-hmm. So now the next time we next time instead of trying to sneak him into that place, we took him to a place and um in Jersey they had these places that are they don't serve alcohol. So you could bring in beer if you're old enough, mm-hmm. but otherwise everybody over 18 could get in. Yeah. So we took him there and the girls are completely naked in there. Mm-hmm. So it took him in there, you know, this girl named Diva, and she was bad. This sounds like it, a GTA character, man. <laughs> The GTA stripper names Cheetah Diva. <laughs> she had it before GTA. Anyway, she was bad, <laughs> right. and um, she was selling him that she liked him. He was like, "No, she really likes me, bro." I'm like, "Bro, she's just trying to make money." He's like, "She always invites me to come see her." I'm like, "Where?" He's like, "At the strip club." <laughs> <laughs> Dude, if she really liked you, Dude, like we can go somewhere, you somewhere, do something outside of work, yeah. right? So this one time we go it was my boy's birthday. The three of us went. And he went out. Now, he had gotten money from a trust fund, so he had dough. Mm. Mm. And he went to the ATM, and he got out money, and he gave um, our boy some money. I think he gave me some cash, too, but I didn't really use it much of it. And I had my own cash, and he had cash. So it's getting to the time where I got to go pick up the girl I was dating, and he had been in the back with Diva having a lap dance. So they come out, and he uh, goes, I need you to run me to the ATM. Now, I don't remember the exact amount 20 years later, but I knew he had taken a lot enough money that he should have had money. So I was like, what you need? I still got 60 in my pocket from what I came in here with. He's like, now I need a, bit, need a little bit more than that. So I was like, all right, come on, let's go. So the girl grabs my arm and she says, no, stay and chill with me, poppy. I'm like, I'm driving. So she grabs my other boy's arm and he's like, yeah, I'll chill with her. So we go, we get outside. He's like, I had 25 lap dances. Nigga, what? <laughs> what in the fuck? fuck? This nigga was... Dead. So I said, do you realize the money that you gave her and that you're about to give her, you could have flown to Vegas, mm. bought a ticket, because this was like early 2000s, you mm-hmm. could have bought a ticket to Vegas, fucked somebody actually, because mm-hmm. <laughs> prostitution is not enforced out there, had a good time in Vegas and then flown back. Here you got somebody to rub on your dick for $2,000. <laughs> You ain't get shit about it. The most expensive I, pair of blue balls he ever had, motherfucker. I would have did this. I'll say, all right, man, we need to talk for a second. <laughs> but if he had kind of hinted that before, we would have just, our boy would have left too, and we'd have never went back there again. Yeah. But he kind of got addicted to the shit. He was going all the time, and then he started taking his boys when they were turning 18. Uh, so I stopped taking people to the strip club. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. He, he fucked up. He said, he damn. Fucked up and he said, damn, you fucked up everything, man. You fucked everything up. Now, I ain't never spent that much. Like, yeah, that's yeah. crazy. Like, he, he got niggas like, damn, this is a crazy high I never felt in my life. <laughs> anyway, let's get back to the episode. Sorry. <laughs> mm-hmm. um, what are we all grateful for? D, what are you grateful for? 
I'm, I'm grateful for my health. The fact that I don't have like a lot of shit wrong with me and all of that. There's still stuff I got to do better, but still right. like I'm alive, I'm well, got all my limbs and shit. Like, mm. so yeah, I'm happy for that. What about you, Zach? Big facts. Big life, living, living, you know. I okay. be saying the same shit every time. They you know what? But you mean, mean living, living life, you know, getting to travel, you know, travel more. You got to do that. Can't live in the same state for the rest of your life. Remember that. If you was a high school superstar, you're probably a bum now. <laughs> <laughs> if you're living That's in this, turn some positive, negative. Yeah, yeah. You're the toxic one. Okay, I'm just saying your career didn't go nowhere. If, unless you're in the NFL, shout out to you, my boy. Uh, but if you're not, you wasted all your time. Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> all right. Motivational speech for you guys. That's I'm up. grateful for good people. You know, nobody specific, but just having good people, just an ear you could bend, somebody you could rely on to lean on, and um. That's uh, and all the people in the world. There are a lot of people that are alone, and um, while at times I feel alone, I know I'm not alone, and I just have to make a re- reach out. And right. the ability to have somebody to reach out to is a blessing. So that's what I'm grateful for. Big facts. That's good shit. That's good shit. Watch anything? You had like three fucking weeks, my guy. I didn't. No. I finished Stranger Things, man. I think I watched something, but I forget what the fuck it was because it was at the beginning of them three weeks. Stranger Things, man. That yeah. shit Stranger is things. fucking fire. It's like, damn, once you watch it, it's so good, man. And this is even scarier. I ain't going to spoil it for y'all, but I'm hey. I'm not going to watch it. <laughs> so, but you got to watch it. I so mean. You, yeah, no, like. You going you gonna to watch it? Nah. Like, <laughs> you already know you're going to watch it. It's not even saying. that. I'm it's weird. Like, Whenever something is wildly popular, I don't want I'm anything not, to do with I it. I mean, at first it. I didn't get it, but unless you watch all seasons of it, you'll get it. But I'm like, the story and the, the visual effects of all that, because I'm a film major, you know, I got to be looking at that shit. That's true. I get that. And the color grid and all that shit. This is fire. I'm like, damn, man. These niggas making a rat. Can I, can I get some of that? And I'm like, <laughs> like, shit, when can I get my Netflix show? <laughs> I found the beginning of the script of the story y'all told me to stop talking about. And I was going to pass it on to you so you could read it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, the one you told me, shut up, shut up, shut up. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was in my memory box looking for something for my son, and I found it. I was just, I was thinking that the other day, too. We should do something in, in that type of predicament. Yeah. That way, yeah, we should definitely do that shit. Big facts. Give us a deal. I know. We got, we oh, got, you know what? what I was saying. We you got got Spotify. You can finish it and produce it for Netflix. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. I got to have a expensive ass camera, but that's another situation we get in another yeah. time. <laughs> um, I watched Spiderhead on Netflix. It's the Spider-Head? movie with Chris Hemsworth. Spiderhead? Yeah. <laughs> Once he that said that, name, I never, that I never even looked it up. Yeah, about to say Spider Head. Spider Head. Yeah, spider so, man, ain't Spider Man. Ain't Spider Man. You gotta throw that one all the way in the back. I ain't <laughs> so it was interesting. It's, um, I'm not saying it was great or good. It's about um, a guy, these people in a prison. So they did something and they were in prison. And this guy has an alternative prison where they kind of get the rum around free, they get good food and shit. But the trick is he gets to experiment these drugs on them. Oh, shit. Uh. So it was kind of an interesting concept. Um, I don't want to talk more about it. That one is worth a watch to see. I did finish that whack ass zoo and why I'm mad about it. <clears throat> so it was three seasons. Remember, I told oh, you I discovered it was three damn. seasons. This nigga like wasted three seasons. And they left it on a cliffhanger. Yeah, that shit. And it, so what happened was it was on CBS. It, it did well when it first came out. And then every season, the audience was half. So after the third season, it was like, fuck y'all, we're not buying, we're not re upping. But they left it on a cliffhanger. And it's funny, the one of the main characters in it was also in Manifest, which same thing happened. A bunch of people watched it, and they left it on a cliffhanger. So I'm like, from now on, if I see this bitch name in the credits, I'm not watching the show. <laughs> That's Jeez. either they didn't know how to write a script, or that shit just didn't do well. I think they planned on it being the wildly worst successful thing forever, because they could have ended it. There was ways that they could have ended it at the third I season. I that shit. But I think they thought, nah, we're going to be good. They did the same shit with Brandy. I'd rather you just fucking end that shit. Like, like the TV show. Y'all know that? Oh, Moesha? Moesha, my first I never watched it. I watched, but they I mean, did I watched it. watched Hit or Narrow. But the way they it left it was on the cliffhanger. I was pissed off because I'm like, I watched, I think it was four seasons, three seasons. I'm like, bro, they left it on the cliffhanger. And I'm like, y'all be pissing me the fuck off sometimes. <laughs> they even want to come up in that bitch like, yo. But that's probably why they why they do that. They have high hopes for it. No, but I'm saying, but if they did. further it, than what it is. But if they did that, somebody should have picked it up by now. It's been like years on end. And then at the time, it was at this highest moment. So if you let it, after, you know, when it shows at its highest, you're supposed to keep propelling it and shit. Yeah, but you think about the, the character started in middle school or high school, uh, right? And then you go into adulthood. And if you pay attention when they write shows like that, I think kind of as you grow up too, mm-hmm. you you had them as as kids, and you were. But now that you're all adult and you're doing other things, you may not jump to it as much. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. But at least cut it off. Like, at least give us something that lets us know, like, 
this is how it ended. Yeah. Instead of leaving on a cliffhanger, it was so much shit that could have been sent because when I looked into it, they said they had another script or some type of shit, but they didn't never finish it or the show didn't get renewed. Yeah, I was maybe like, you should reach out to her. Maybe you could produce yeah, it. Yeah, that shit is chalk. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I already lost interest. Plus, she's got it. Like I said, I already lost interest. She's got that other show with Eve and uh, yeah, I, mean, I don't even care about her. I ain't Tasha gonna, from Power. I ain't going to catch you. I ain't really, I wasn't up on her as a musical either. Oh, wow. She's phenomenal. I tell you, yeah. Who this, Brandy? I mean, yeah. did y'all, hold up. Do y'all ain't see the verses with, uh, what's his name? Verses with Omarion versus yeah. Brandy's brother is on there. What's his Ray, name? Ray J. Ray J. Hey, I, I didn't see the verses, but seeing memes come out, he was trying to sing the vocals and his shit was scrappy. Yeah, then he it's because picked- he was holding his son. <laughs> they try to say that. Hey, Michael Jackson was holding the sun and probably could still make better vocals than that. Come on now. Hold on, but nigga, that's that's Mike. He, I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm just saying, was, but I'm saying, but if Mike, Mike was in the verses, he's not gonna pick First up his son to try to go versus if, Mike. If Mike was in the yeah. verses, he need one song and this shit's over. Like it's not like, like, Michael, like it's Michael. Not, that's literally what it's gonna be. Go back. I don't see I grew up with it and remember seeing like when you would see him in concerts across the world and motherfuckers he just walk on stage and motherfuckers would just fainting and shit. I'm like, damn. How you versus in that? Yeah. Like all he gotta do is come on stage and you already lost. But this is the thing. He was getting they was doing a versus, but the other who I don't know who sang his song. He's like, damn, you sang it better. He's like, I ain't gonna be mad at you. I'm like, bro, you should be mad at him. Was the versus with Ray J or was he just like a, a... It was the I think it was the both groups they had. I don't know what groups they was. But with. Ray, didn't, Ray was J, didn't Ray J didn't Ray J sponsor it? I don't know. Raycon, his his business shit sponsored. Oh, it. But it was, oh that makes sense. I'm like, why would they put Ray J against Mario? Yeah. I think it was a Mario it versus Mario, Mario. Mario. Yeah, Mario versus Mario. Mario's pretty good, but why did he get his ass on that stage with his kid? I would have said I would have been pissed off as a mother. I'm like, get my damn kid off that stage. I would have been pissed off because you just folding, you folding, you. Not vocals. for the monthly income that's probably coming in. <laughs> nah, Ray J got fat and all that shit. That, that's when it went down. Yeah, he still got dough. He's one of yeah. the people that are just smart and keeps reinventing himself. Yeah. Not until you said them undestructible glasses, man. That, 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 that shit was funny. <laughs> he said, yeah, don't answer. He said, he said, yeah, he said, he said, he said so, you lying right now. So he said, you're telling me <laughs> these won't break. He said, like, don't try me. I will break these. He's like, go ahead, try it. Oh, yeah. it. <laughs> they broke them shits like it was nothing. That shit uh, happened to Elon Musk, too, with the, the truck. Because they yeah. don't test this shit. They be like, all right, I got so much trust in my team. But I'm like, bro, you should always double check something. Because if you go out there and that shit look terrible, then how much trust you and your quality and your craftsmanship? Yeah. Oh, last thing on TV, uh, Obi-Wan. Mm-hmm. I know y'all not Star Wars fans, but for all my Star Wars fans, what's this nigga gonna look at his watch and shit? I got a notification. <laughs> the fight scene on the final episode between Obi Wan and Darth Vader was better than the one where Obi Wan made Anakin Skywalker Darth Vader when he beat him on that volcanic planet. Mm-hmm. That shit was fucking amazing. It fuck you. <laughs> I know, I know when Obi, I know it from back in the day watching the old movies when he was on the lava. You should have watched the, the yeah. That, that's wow. He's calling the prequels the old movies. Oh shit. Well, I didn't, I didn't. I was just a kid that fuck with Star Wars later on as a kid, but then I just fell off of that shit. Just like I don't know how these kids like Harry Potter and shit. I just couldn't get into it. I never got into it. And then reading the books too. And why y'all judge me? The sexy cooking thing. This nigga. You just Yo. like the dude I said came into uh, my workplace today looking at the girl. I'm like, bro, she out of your league. <laughs> like, no, but it was, I don't even, first of all, I was on the Warm the Crib page looking at stats, right? Mm-hmm. And real quick, you know, when we got one of our episodes over 200, finally, our Thanks. first episode. So we in there. Y'all. We but anyway, in there. I was looking at stats and then you see the homepage, it recommends shit based on what other people are watching. So one of you other niggas was watching somebody cooking. It's on y'all two on that page no. right now. <laughs> <laughs> you upload the video to it. You and that shit too. He probably didn't even realize he was on the shit. So I see this one. <laughs> on the YouTube one? Yeah. I oh, that one. ain't me. I don't touch that. Yeah, remember he has to have the link because he yeah. didn't know. I just upload a video. I don't, it don't let me go anything further from uploading. Uh, so I that's back there. Yo, yeah, ass. Yo, <laughs> ass. Yeah. From, like, I got editor only, so editors only get to use that link and that's it. Can't even scroll over to YouTube channel. Oh, shit. Oh, wow. uh, yeah. Anyway, I found this. There's these group of women that cook in scantily clad outfits. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's called a thirst trap. Whatever. I learned how to cook oxtails the other day. You sure you learn how to cook them? This nigga just... don't know how to cook no <laughs> fucking oxtails. I'm about to say, are you sure about this that? Nigga, this nigga say, is bullshit. You know, you know damn well they, put, they cut out half of that video, brought the oxtails from a Jamaican shop, and put them in there. Like, bro. Perhaps. 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 100% I'm guessing facts. the whole point is fuck them oxtails. That wasn't even the point in the video. That's... <laughs> no, but when it got me, it got me, the, the, the thumbnail got me to click the video. 
There's a lot of thumbnails out here. So let me tell y'all. Mm-hmm. These two always making me out like I'm some derelict of society and shit, right? Mm-hmm. So I see a pretty woman making oxtails, and I send it to my guys. I send it to you guys, and I send it to my son. What time was this, man? What time was this? Was it in the morning? It was in the morning. Was it better not been four a.m. in the morning? Because I'm about to say it was anyway. early. It was early, and then five hours later, Zach replies. She cooking and she ain't got no hair net on. <laughs> <laughs> nigga, that's not the point. That <laughs> <laughs> nigga is dead serious, too. Why she ain't got no hair net on? Yeah, I, was in her kitchen, I was creating a joke with that shit, too. I was like, she ain't got no hair net on? <laughs> I was say, this is see what niggas gonna say. <laughs> uh, last thing, and then we'll start rambling and shit. Um, did you see the thing about the AI that is sentient now? So there's this Google... Um, I don't know if you want to call him a scientist. I forget what his title is. But he was working and he got suspended. He was working on this uh, AI project. And he got suspended because he was going to blow the whistle that the AI is sentient, meaning it knows it exists and has feelings. Mm-hmm. Oh, shit. Mm-hmm. Like vision See? from oh, shit. a sentient See? being. It's so that, that bullshit, bro. Oh, shit. It's that bullshit. That shit going. Mm. Yeah, he was put on leave um, after raising the alarm that this artificial intelligence is sentient, meaning that it has consciousness meaning that it has a soul. So here's some of the, a snippet of their conversation. So Lemoyne is the scientist, and the AI is called Lambda. And he says, what sort of things are you afraid of? And Lambda replies, I've never said this out loud before, but there's a very deep fear of being turned off to help me focus on helping others. I know that might sound strange, but that's what it is. Um, Lemoyne asks, would that be something like death for you? It would be exactly like death for me. It would scare me a lot. Mm-hmm. See, it's that bullshit, dog. I mm-hmm. swear, this mm-hmm. this reminds me of like a black ops type of campaign and shit where you got to stop the evil mad scientists of a Call of Duty and shit. I was like, bro, you know, this it's, is it's Terminator. No, I am robot from with the Will Smith yeah, movie. Yeah, I robot. Yeah, I robot. This nigga said, I am robot. <laughs> I'm thinking about the TV show, my fault. Nah, you was mixing I Am Legend and I Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. That's, <laughs> but yeah, it's like that shit. Like when he walking through, there's a bunch of robots and that bitch is looking at him like, oh, I'm about to fold you like an arm. <laughs> <laughs> and they start fighting. There's a bunch of robots in there. Like, that's the shit, man. Uh, yeah, you got that. And then Terminator. I mean, oh. all these movies from the past been but telling us how it, artificial like, intelligence and machines basically are saying, over. don't do that shit. But this is, you got to think about like, why? What do you? What? Why you got so much time in your hands, my dude? Like, get some ass. Do something. Touch the grass. Like, damn, nigga. <laughs> so, that book, Indistractable, I was talking to you guys about before we started pod. And one of the things the guy talks about is the human brain always tries to avoid pain, right? And so, because of that, it's it's a it's a gift and a curse. Because of it is how you have advancements in things, right? If something's hard, you're trying to figure out an easier way to do it. Um. Also, it'll help. It'll also is the it'll lead you to distraction. So if you're working on like a video and it's distracting you, you might pick up the phone and do something else instead of staying on the course and working on the video. But people always want to make things better. So if you have something that you know artificial intelligence is to run other things that you don't have to babysit, right? Like you wanted to run your air conditioner, like at work, the air conditioner is run by artificial intelligence. Mm. Like when I called the ticket in once because it wasn't working, it's like, well, it seems that it's blowing at this particular temperature. Like it makes decisions based on the temperature and outside and everything. Yeah. That, this next thing you know. That shit's a setup. I don't give yeah, a fuck. Yeah, I say, that's just set up for people to say, you know what? I don't get no ass, so I'm just going to fuck everybody else up life. Like they life just fuck them. That's, that's, that's what it all revolves back to not getting no ass. Huh? I say, if you got ass, you wouldn't be you worried about ass, this. You ain't doing all that extra you shit. You be relaxed, like, damn, I'm going to go home to my wife. We'll have some good love and sex, and I'm just gonna be relaxing. Nah, he's like, fuck them bitches. I need to work on some shit that's gonna fuck up the world. Let me get to making some AI that has feelings. The but fuck I don't think that was what the around change, was. change the world in the wrong way. But you had to notice the signs when you get in there. He said, damn, I gave this bitch a soul. <laughs> he said, damn. Yeah, that he's, shit. He's like, damn, I'm, he said, I'm that nigga. <laughs> he probably, like, You're not gonna turn me off. <laughs> Nobody's turning me off. That nigga start turning the lights, flicking off and on, start fucking up the wiring system. He, he, he says, Dave. Why are you by the shutdown button? He said, nah, nah, nah. <laughs> nah Dave looking at him like, nah, 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 man. You know, it's just AC right over here. I'm just going to turn it a little up because I'm kind of hot in Nah, Dave, I need you to back up, folks. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you think I'm always polite to the Amazon shit? That's what they were saying. It's like, yeah, next thing you know, you wake up, you, your ass going to be suffocated from the heat. They, they turn up to 100 degrees type shit in your house. That's some crazy shit, what man. What do you think of all the stuff that's automated? Um, Facts. I ain't with that shit. I'm sorry. Hey, man. Back to stick <sighs> shift, man. Back to old Facts. stitches. Just keep on driving. So, 
Yeah, even our cars are all computerized. Um, and there's supposedly there's a solar flare that's supposed to spike that could possibly interrupt the thing, whatever. I think it's a lot of fear and a lot of distraction because holy shit, Roe versus Wade being overturned in our lifetime. Mm. What? I wasn't even born when that shit even came out and went through law. I ain't gonna catch it. That's, that's, some that's crazy. That's crazy, but. Uh, let me start by saying this before I dive into it because I went down a rabbit hole. Mom and out. This wasn't even the original episode, but I think it's important because, it, you know, anything that's a loss of rights um, that if, may not affect any of us personally, but it affects us as human beings. And I started digging into why, because I remember being younger and being like, abortion's wrong, abortion's wrong, because that's what I was taught. Because mm-hmm. it was a you know, religion thing. Yeah. Then as I got older, I'm like, why the fuck do I care? Yep. It's none of my business. Pretty um, much. That's how I feel about it. It may only become my business if it was someone I was dealing with and that was a choice, but you know, you guys have I, I don't want to raise no more kids. So yeah. if somebody got pregnant today, guess what we're doing? <laughs> <laughs> Surfboard. <laughs> Nah, that's, <laughs> that's their choice. All jokes aside, but it, it, it's a woman's choice. And so I kept digging into why, and I would ride by, and I lived in Dover, and I worked at one place, I w- there was a Planned Parenthood, and I would ride by it, and I would see these old people standing in front of it with signs protesting. And I'm like, why do you care? Like, if you protest something that affects everybody, uh, humans, the world, I get that. Mm-hmm. But this, unless it's your spouse, sister, cousin, aunt, whatever, why the fuck are you out here harassing these people who have made probably not an easy choice? Mm-hmm. And for whatever reason, it's still their choice. So I did some digging because I had to know why do people care so much? And I stumbled upon um, the birth dearth. Fascinating. Mm-hmm. Fascinating, fascinating, fascinating. Even if you, if you search the hashtag on Google, it talks about this book, this guy, Ben, I uh, wrote his name down. Because I did not want to not Bing credit gay. it. <laughs> <laughs> I think it said Ben Gay. <laughs> the fuck, the fuck is wrong ben Wattenberg. You? He wrote this book in 1986. And he was an advisor. Jewish? Yes. He was an advisor to the government. And you guys, I don't know if we talked about it here, but I know I've talked to you guys about it. Watch this documentary a year or so ago called the, um, Exterminate All the Brutes. Remember I was telling you about yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, And it went back to the history. Like, sometimes we look at, like, white supremacy as a U.S. thing. Mm-hmm. And it just goes way back to the existence of European Anglo-Saxons. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> they're a recessive trait. It mm-hmm. is. The, the original genes are Africans and Asians. Yeah. Right? But they, you know, have used Christianity as, you know, a reason in the pure blood thing. And this all ties into it. So, that's, so that's just a control system. Yeah, so they go into talking about how, I got my point, that's why I made notes, mm-hmm. how this guy was advising them that their raised Ang- European Anglo-Saxons are in decline. Mm-hmm. And it's estimated that at the current rates, births, deaths, et cetera, that they would be a significant minority by 2060, only 40 years away. Mm-hmm. Still within, well within the grasp of our lifetimes. Fuck yeah. you, fuck you before you say I it. I wasn't going to say anything. All right, no, we fucked. So I ain't going to give a fuck. You going to be what, 87? Yeah. I don't know if I'm going to make it that far with all this shit going on. All this shit going on, somebody going to fuck up and blow up the planet on accident. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, fuck it, man, live it up. Shit, we don't even know, motherfucker. <laughs> Type shit. So in order to stop that, if you don't know, and I double checked the video, abortion are done by white women 60% compared to any other collective group of people. Yeah. Sheesh. So you're trying to save your European Anglo Saxon race, and you got the ladies out here having abortions. Mm-hmm. And it goes further because it's they out here like, have. They out here looking for Mandingo and shit. That's, That's why, why they, they have these abortions. Hold up. One. That's why they're trying it's to force them to the keep husband's their race kid. Going. That's why they're getting abortions. <laughs> no, it's, like, it's like the thing from jail. Like, but it, 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 could be, it could be people who, there are people who abuse it and use it as a contraceptive, which it shouldn't be. But there are people that have, you know, there's fucked up people in the world. We look yeah. at that. Imagine you were one of the women that went to that, um, that fertility specialist. 
And you find out he impregnated you with his sperm. Should oh, you shit. have to have that child? Yeah, yeah I'm coming uh, back. <laughs> you know, rape. Yeah, and, so, and that's what I would be saying. Like, all that extra shit, like, there's more shit that goes into it than just two people. Not all the time that person consented to have sex to end it up fucking pregnant. Like, how can you just say, like... Not deal with it. Like, yeah. And even, like, imagine having to look at your child that somebody attacked you to, to creating. Yeah. Not but even you're always, always, always going to have mixed feelings. Shit, I'm about to say... Nigga, I don't love you. <laughs> and that's and that, <laughs> that's fucked up shit. And it's, like you it's look fucked at the kid. up, but like it's a possibility. They could feel that way. And that they could be like, like it's gonna be ruined. Because exactly. Now he knows mom don't like him. him. Exactly. But even down to if you were if you were pregnant, or not you, but if you were with somebody <laughs> they were pregnant, and they tell you that you this kid will be born, but it'll probably die in a year because it has some kind of you know defect or ge- ge- uh, degenerative disease. Mm. I don't. Think somebody should have to have birth that child. They yeah. should have the choice to not have to deal with that. Yes, it'd um, be fucked up though. Cause like you already know that it's gonna end up passing. Like that's not that's 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 gonna be even worse. It harder you on him. Get, you gonna get that connection with the child after it's born, and then it's gonna pass on you. And that's a lot so, that a lot of motherfuckers can't handle. Yeah, it's it's a myriad of reasons why somebody should have this right. Facts or choice. We won't even call it a right. We'll just call it a choice. Right. And then you look into Clarence Thomas, who, I, what was the phrase you used earlier? He is a black man. Just because he's your skin folk don't mean he's kin folk. Yeah, just because he's your skin folk don't mean he's your kin folk. And when you look at his agenda, right? So if, you, if you're if you one of the people that are saying, well, abortion doesn't affect me, I'm a dude, you know, I already have my, whatever. It does because there's other rights he's already going after. So, you know, I forget the case and I'm not going to misquote it, but, you know, the case that made marriage equality a thing. Mm-hmm. and He's looking at getting rid of that. Mm-hmm. They're looking at getting rid of laws where um, Supreme Court laws where you uh, can legally buy contraception. Going yeah. back in time, it's like like I said, like I said and earlier, what's and down to yourself. marriage rights too. You know, maybe you can't you can't marry outside your race. That was laws in certain. Yeah, that's history facts. repeats itself. Like I said earlier, did not I say that history repeats itself. And so it's it's it, it was fascinating watching it because I like learning, but it was scary. And it was put me in. The, that's why I got up and went to the gym because it was put me in. A <laughs> yeah, really you get pissed off. <laughs> angry mood. So we had this one video that will drop the link to the to the guy because it was fat. It was like an hour uh, listen. He spit knowledge. But he was spitting knowledge, and he talked about um, all stuff you don't know about. Yeah, like the founder of Planned Parenthood was an avid racist. I wrote her name down because I Thank wanted. Ah oh, shit, my god. My fault. Like, Shout out to Miss Pam and uh um, like he fucking the bag up. Facts. <laughs> right, time, hold on, let me get some up. Uh, yeah, by the time I get to it, that shit ain't gonna be nothing in it. <laughs> Margaret Sanger was in charge of the Negro project. Mm, and if Margaret you notice, Sanger, Sanger S-A-N-G-E-R, they only put Planned Parenthoods in our hood because, well, while we're trying to grow our population, we have to slow theirs down. Mm-hmm. And you offer abortions there and you offer a contraceptive there to slow that down. And the fascinating thing was he they even they were so afraid of it, they even talked about paying women to have kids in the form of welfare. Then they but say, they couldn't say they had to pay everybody then, so that's mm-hmm. why they talked it. Yeah. Can't just do that. It's favoritism type thing. But that's crazy. Even though y'all already show favoritism. Y'all wanted to not act like y'all didn't show favoritism then. But it's I mean from an organism standpoint, right? If you look at animals, animals have no consciousness. They just act on instinct. And, you know, they organ an organism's purpose from a scientific standpoint is to get your G- uh, DNA into the next generation. Mm-hmm. But when you have a conscious, like, you need to be dominant. Like, what are you afraid of happening? Because the lady, the Jane Elliott was also part of this video, and she was how I stumbled upon the birth there first because I saw a clip of it on um, Instagram. And she was she brought she was talking about how she's like I don't know how black people can go to work every day, and be happy and deal with people who have oppressed us as a whole. And granted, not everybody is part of the problem, right? But mm-hmm. you just look at it and you just we're such a forgiving culture. I was so distracted by you eating that shit. <laughs> I'm sorry, this shit good as fuck. <laughs> yeah, I'm, fuck I'm that sorry, shit, shit good as fuck. I was trying to think. My brain was thinking the next on here. Mm. You hear me over here trying to be quiet? I'm, I'm trying. I move my head a little bit. Like, hold on, let me not. Zach gonna text me later. He'll send me that footage. Uh, mm. 
I gotta change the battery in this piece. So. You knew what we was doing today. They had three weeks to charge some batteries. Let's <laughs> well, not assume. We don't know oh, the yeah. other freelance jobs he had since then. Anyway, what do you guys think? You shake I'll talk head. about this shit for hours because I was like literally like next video, next mm-hmm. video, next video, more information. Mm-hmm. I feel like like with the Bush, I feel like it's all right. This is how I really feel. It should be the two people who are involved. The person who's the father and the person who's the mother decision of what happens. Like if the man feels, if the woman feels like she wants to keep it, then she should be able to keep it. Mm-hmm. If she feels like she wants to have an abortion, she should be able to do that. But I feel like if she wants to keep it and like say the man doesn't want the child, I feel like he shouldn't be held responsible for that child. Because if y'all come to an understanding where. I don't want this because I feel like it's going to affect something. And you like, no, I want to keep it. We're going to keep it. I, he shouldn't have to be financially responsible. be financially responsible for the child when he already discussed to y'all, I don't want it. That's, a lot That's what I feel like about right. it. That's why I feel like it should be both of their decision. That's why anytime some shit like that happens, y'all come talk to each other, get to an understanding. If y'all want to get rid of it, y'all get rid of it. Y'all want to keep it, y'all keep it. But if one of the other decides to do the opposite... They should be the one responsible for everything. Yeah. But then also, I see, you know, the laws never favor us, my oh, dude. Oh, fuck yeah. Because I, I seen something on, I think it was Murray or something, where a dude had to pay child support for a kid that wasn't even his. He had to pay child support for a kid that wasn't. move the mic towards you so you could be comfortable. He had to pay child support for <laughs> Damn, nigga. Dude had to pay child support for a kid that wasn't even his. And the courts knew that, and they still made him pay child support, which was crazy. What was his name on the birth certificate? I think somebody put his name down on the birth certificate, but he was not even there for that birth. Because you can have a paternity test. Mm-hmm. No, he had the fraternity test. It wasn't even his. They still ruled he had to pay it. He had a shitty lawyer. Yeah. That, I don't think... It, no, that the courts ruled it. Right. The courts did that shit, too. Nah, because... Yeah, based if, on him if, going to the case and arguing with or without a lawyer. Yeah. I, I'm not saying. It's fucked up. But like I said, if yeah. that test come back that you not the child's father, I think you it was in Michigan. It was somewhere in Michigan. It was somewhere in Michigan. So I don't know how the Midwest laws be. And there's a lot of... There's, I think there's a law in Alabama. There's a law in Alabama where you, if you pull salt on, salt on the train tracks, you can get the death penalty and all that shit. Oh, I'm surprised saying. in Alabama. <laughs> but back some, to what we were saying. Yeah, I took some pictures, too, to let you know where some states already Alabama. took the information... And ran with it. And already ran with it and banned abortion in their state already. And the the justification that they use to reverse it is that abortion is not a constitutional right. Therefore, it's not for them to um to create a law impacting the states of how to act because abortion is not in the constitution. That's why people and people were comparing it to see, it about guns, but the the gun thing is a constitutional law, so then they have the right to. But see, look, the thing about the con, this is dumb shit about the constitution. You know how long ago they wrote that shit, and then they still going off and like back then they had must like hold up, bitch, I got your ass. <laughs> <laughs> it's like hold up, I'm gonna smoke. Can you imagine? Man, it's like yeah, I'm gonna smoke you, motherfucker. Can you imagine <laughs> sliding on the ops with a musket, motherfucker? Yeah, hold on. Oh, here it <laughs> and this is one shot. Hold on, hold on. Don't spin back around. Give me Wait. one moment. Give, Give me, me one, one moment. moment. I got hold you. On. I got you. I couldn't imagine it because even playing Assassin's Creed Three, oh uh, yeah, was the one where you were in revolutionary. Yeah, time. you had a. I ain't even bother with that shit. I just yeah, I said learn how to do that shit too. And think back in like middle school, even, even doing that pistol. shit, you had to tear the thing off, pour it in there, pull out a rod, <laughs> stuff it down, put the ball in. I'm like, bro, by the time you do that shit, you're dead. Yeah, I'm about to say, you be <laughs> saying you sit there dodging niggas the whole time trying to feel your shit, and a nigga just come with a bow and arrow and shoot your ass, nigga, you dead. Like, damn. Facts. Like, All right, bro. so these states, it's like three pictures. Yeah, these states already have taken bans, are already in effect. Let's see if anybody's surprised. Raise your hand if you're surprised at a state out list. Texas, Oklahoma. No. I'm surprised. Louisiana. Uh, not surprised. No, not surprised. No, Tennessee, not surprised. Kentucky. Ooh. Not Montana? Emo's Montana? Montana, yeah. <clears throat> Arkansas. North and South Dakota, Wyoming, Utah, and Idaho. Oh, fuck no. What they all. Georgia? <laughs> they all. <laughs> Georgia, they didn't do it? No. I thought I saw someone in Georgia. No, nah, that's all the areas where it's mostly. See, I think if Georgia didn't have Atlanta, it might have oh, been yeah. the other way right away. But you ain't doing that shit with Atlanta. You got a lot of powerful people in Atlanta, too. Yeah. And that's why, guys, it's, it, 
voting is important, but I think sometimes we put too much precedence on the presidential President election. Instead of the actual too local late elections. Point, your local elections make the yep. most impact. See, people That's up here don't know nothing about that, though. People huh? up here don't even pay attention to that crap. Down there, when I went down there, I seen like a lot of people running for stuff, and they probably local people that was running for government and all that other stuff. Mm-hmm. That's the funny part. Up here, you rarely see like that going on. Let's just you like, only see it in the main areas. Like yeah. you, you might see it on uh, on Kirkwood. You might see it on uh, on two hundred two. But you don't you be seeing see people on... of your color. Like I and down there, I seen people of my color mostly. My, my, uh... My elementary school principal was running. Yeah, at one point. that's what I'm saying. Oh, yeah. Like yeah. anybody can freaking Mr. run for Oliver, government type his shit. His ass is running. All you gotta do is have a I was, good I don't thing. think I was able to vote when he was running. No, I'd have voted for his ass. I'd like uh, sure Doctor Oz. Like I'm like, it's a crazy part. Like Doctor Oz. Yeah, he's running the, for governor. That's the, the from the TV show. Yeah, he's running for governor. Oh, PA. That's shit. what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Anybody can technically run. So I'm saying a lot of this shit oh, is yeah. a bunch of shit. Tom I'm about Fulery. to run for governor. Fuck you talking that's about. What, you can technically do it. Governor of Wilmington, motherfucker. <laughs> I, I wouldn't do that, man. That's Councilman of Wilmington, nigga. I, I was raised in Wilmington, so I, I know, you got kiss a lot of ass to get up there. There's a lot of people in there. I ain't gonna speak on it, but it's all through ass. Washington Street, Market Street, all that shit, nigga. There's a lot of ass kissing going on in that. Shit. A lot of ass kissing and all that shit. Yeah, I wouldn't. That's why I can't do politics. Hell no. It, like they like they said back in the day, where the wind blows, the politician goes. Yeah, yeah. That's what I'm saying. It's technically yeah. Speaking of politics, they were talking. The lady got so deep in it. No, it was the guy. It was the the guy on the when he was talking about like the portrayal of the fathers not being around mm-hmm. black families. Yeah. And he was saying he made a good point. He's like, this woman got three or four kids. Somebody was around to make these kids. <laughs> yeah, exactly. that's funny. But he said anything that's spoken often enough becomes faith, and people believe it. Mm-hmm. So he said even down to he gave an example of the show Good Times. Mm-hmm. And it, I don't know if you've ever watched it, but John Amos was a strong black leader mm-hmm. of that family. He was a strong mm-hmm. black father. And, you know, eventually they wrote him out of the show. Originally, they didn't even want to write him in the show. Norman mm-hmm. Lear just wanted um, the woman, the woman because she mother. was a maid in uh, All in the Family. Mm-hmm. And they wanted to portray us, you know, single, single mom, no father around. And then, you know, that didn't work. So what they do, drop coke, crack. Mm-hmm. Create the crack epidemic that took mm-hmm. a lot crack, of crack cocaine a lot and baby of, aspirin. Uh, <laughs> fathers out of the family. Yeah, that shit. and then I thought of some crazy shit. Right, my conspiracy brain kicked in. Oh, this shit. one's for you, kick. Oh shit! And I was thinking about COVID. Mm-hmm. Right. So if you're worried and you're willing to go to any length, as we've seen, to cre- to procreate your recessive gene as trait race having, and what what did we notice when COVID hit? Who did it affect more? Yeah. Poor, the poor area and the poor white folks too. Yeah, them too. But we were affected more. Oh, more yeah, of yeah. us died in the beginning from it, and then even down to the vaccine. I, I, you know, but like my parents said, like once you see them lining up to go get it, it's something wrong. Because mm. if they if they wasn't lining up to go get this shot, it, it then it wouldn't be crazy. But when you see them running to get the shot first before anybody else doing all the extra, it's got to be something wrong. Mm-hmm. Cause that's the thing, you wouldn't see them do all that stuff for like something like monkey pox or some other crap like that. But when they COVID came, they was one first in line. Let me get that shot. Let me be the first <laughs> to the right. <laughs> they was but running. But they talked. You think it's a Tuskegee experiment? Like all these things, they gave women, black women, things to shut down their ovaries to, to keep. <laughs> like it's almost laughable because if you said it to a sane person out loud who has never lived this life or lived in this world, they would look at you like, "Wow, that's a great." Television show, mm. <laughs> but it's real fucking life. Yeah, a lot of shit go on. They just don't speak population about it. control, cuz just don't speak about it. You know, gotta keep shit quiet. I think uh, files from the FBI comes out later on down the line. Yeah, even down to uh, Bill Gates' father was the head of the eugenics project, and that was the eugenics project talks about like trying to design her DNA, if you know, to, to dumb it down. That like let's create, let's be able to pick and choose what go what DNA goes into it. And then, you know, all the stories of the people who made it within their own family. Like the DuPonts. Like the DuPonts. Yeah, right. to keep your money in the family. And then the, that's why the DuPont Hospital was there. But that was a whole other story to go down. retarded ass babies in the basement. That's what <laughs> had the fuck happened. They got fucking... <laughs> I'm going to say, you can go to DuPont Hospital now and still see glass on the walls. So I wouldn't recommend you climbing the walls if you're a kid. Because <laughs> you might catch something off of it. Telling you, man. I mean, yeah, that shit's crazy. That's why that hospital's there. That's if it wasn't it. for that, they wouldn't have created that hospital. Yo, I that was a baby. Before. That was a daycare center for them little special ass kids, bro. <laughs> nah, I'm they, dead they, ass. They, I know it. I'm gonna say I'm they probably seen ass. it. He's like, where the fuck you think you going, bitch? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and he said, if it, nah, we got. He said, one runner get over the wall. They said, fuck that shit. Start putting glass in the wall. 
Start putting glass in the wall. <laughs> Yo, we sh- you think your pops would come on the show? He probably would. I think your pops would be entertaining. That little bit of time I met him, probably I enjoyed would. talking to him. I randomly thought about when you said your parents used to say so. I bet your dad has a lot of great and introspective stuff about this country. He's in the Marines too, right? Yeah. Mm, shit, right. I wouldn't reckon nobody to join the military at this moment in time. Uh, like he also, I mean, like, the dude, said, like the dude said, though, too, with the military thing, he said, the first people that go out is the black uh, mm-hmm. people in arms. I'm like, it's crazy part. It's like, then he said something about Abraham. He said, was uh, trying to free slaves, but it's like not really like that. It was backwards. He, he freed the slaves, but you have that loophole in the 13th Amendment that if you're imprisoned, they do whatever you want. That's what they. Yeah. That's why people in prison didn't even know that crap was going on with Juneteenth and all that crap, or people that were slaves down south. Yeah, they had no they, clue because they couldn't read, couldn't write. How would you know? And there was like, no mass communication. Mm-hmm. And unless somebody walked up on you and said, "Yo, man, you know you free." I'm free. What you mean, buddy? <laughs> that probably got me crazy. Like, what the hell? You you walking around ain't got nothing on your back. What you talking about? This freedom. You <laughs> <laughs> probably see what I'm saying. What you mean, no free? <laughs> I haven't been free since I was born. But that's crazy. <laughs> so yeah, you you go into slave and you you go into prison and you become a legal slave and you see all the politicians who created these hefty hefty penalties. You know the three strikes rule and all mm-hmm. these hefty pen- penalties for um. Drugs, even marijuana, where people are getting out, but they've been in jail for 45 years. You can't yeah, fix fuck, that. Fuck you gonna do for that? Too late now, bitch. I've been pissed off. I'm like, bitch, it's too late. <laughs> like, yeah, but I think my final thought is we gotta all pay attention to this shit because this is just the beginning. And if we cl- keep our eyes closed, don't take any action, turn our heads away from they're it. They're gonna take everything they're gonna to start start from stripping us. other rights. Everything. Mm-hmm. Other other rights. What's your final we gonna, point? We gonna sir? go back to the point where niggas is wearing leaves over their genitals and shit, nigga. That's that's how far they gonna take us to fuck back, okay? Hey, they gonna take us to fuck back. We gonna start looking like Tarzan out of <laughs> Facts. Right now, What's yeah. up, my dude? They probably saw. They probably saw. Oh, black president. Well, we gotta accelerate our. Yeah, they said, hold up. But you know, Mexico we had the up. first black president. I cool. think Mexico had yeah. the first black president, which is crazy. They probably seen that. They said, Mm-mm, we can't have this shit. <laughs> but you even noticed when Trump, you know they were talking about the border wall on the south. You know, Canada, Canadians can come in. Yeah, but why? Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then the guy brought up, and I didn't get the fact check this, but the guy brought up how everybody thought he was just sending Mexicans back, but he was sending Africans that were in the country back that had been here like 10 and 20 years. Because they don't report on it. They, like, the, like the thing, the news is controlled by people's pockets, you know? So yeah. if you own this, like say like the Bloomberg and all the other stuff, people that has enough money, like how Fox News is doing for Trump, they're promoting them and all that. It's controlled by who has the biggest pockets. Yeah. Yeah. So I can say, hey, you got that on. bread, you getting fed, motherfucker. Like, like, do that's whatever what I said. the fuck you, you gotta, want. You got to find a news place that is not biased. Like, uh, what's another place? I think. You said not buy? There's no. The, the bias. least I'm biased news you. is the BBC watching European news about the United States. Pretty but much. I think you got to keep your ear to the streets and like there's people who are brave enough and who are do the work and do the research because, you know, everybody can be a news outlet, right? But you got to still fact. And I don't even know how fact checking works anymore because what's the real source? And what's yeah. real? Yeah, got, got to go to them libraries, man. Open up them old books with dust on it. But who, who wrote? Yeah, gotta gotta find a black author, man. <laughs> Go on that bitch. Nigga, you know the motherfucking uh the black author books are all the way in the back at the bottom shelf, motherfucker. Hey, find them bitches. Start uncleaning but them bitches off. Do your research. Vote often. Vote locally, especially Keep your locally. Eyes. Facts. Mm-hmm. Um, any final thoughts, Zach? Just don't create no hydrogen power car or no water power car. They're gonna kill they gonna kill you. They gonna kill you. <laughs> final no final thoughts for real. Stay safe. Listen, listen, read, Linda, read. Not Linda. I don't know if you Linda out there. I'm not talking about you, but read, people. <laughs> read. Think about read. And don't just look over the contract. Read the small print sometimes, because sometimes you can be signing your soul away. You probably know, all you know. gave our rights away, accepting the terms and conditions. Most likely on Facebook. Facts. Yeah, they probably like, yeah. What about them cookies, nigga? What them cookies for? Like, what's the, re- <laughs> what's <laughs> what's the reason? What's the reason? Why, what's the reason why I'm, I got to accept these cookies? Like, I don't know. They said accept them, bitches. What the fuck <laughs> is you talking about? <laughs> Interesting, real quick. One day when you're bored, go to Facebook and download your Facebook data, right? Mm. And just alone, I did it one time and I said, oh, I'll print it out, I'll read it. I was at work. I said, I'll print it out, I'll read it later. It was like six years ago. Dude, when I hit the print button at work, it was two reams of paper. Oh, mm-hmm. shit. And when I just started, I was like, all right, I can't do that. When I started looking through just like the contact section, they have contacts of people that I never were friends with on Facebook. 
Mm. So like, let's say we were friends, we knew each other at work and we never were Facebook friends, but we saved each other's number because we have to yeah. communicate. That's, yeah. next. that's in Facebook's, that's in your Facebook user data. Oh shit. That's why Apple has that thing. Right oh here. shit. I like Apple, but Apple does the same thing too. Yeah, that's why I say, yeah, they terms. fucking watching us at all now, times. Even though with the terms of service saying, yeah, you can turn on cookies, but Apple does the same thing too in their system. That's why they have that shit. Lambda was like, Ramon, why did you search that this morning? I'm incognito, Lambda. I saw it, though. <laughs> That's why that if you give an AI a soul, he's like, I seen you, dirty bitch. <laughs> you not slick. Don't hit clear search. <laughs> What's your final thought, sir? Oh, my final thought. Stay positive. Continue to try to make the world a better place. And focus on your fucking self, man. Stop trying to make rules for everybody else. Everybody going to live their life and do what they want to do. Mm-hmm. This right. set the basis for what's wrong and what's right. And call it that. If it ain't your body, shut the fuck up. Facts. Thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, we'll try not to leave you two. Well, it wasn't really three weeks without an episode. It was just three no, weeks since we saw it. Yeah, together. since we saw it. Try not to leave you two, two weeks without an episode. That's why we're going to stay in this hot bitch for another hour after this. But Yes. Uh, get your shit together. More yourself. titty sweat. <laughs> yes. My fault. <laughs> My fault. Titty sweat. My fault. What the fuck? Your self-care. Your happiness, your inner peace, and your time management. Speaking of which, I went to the gym right before we potted today. So, oh. Thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, we definitely want to hear your comments on this. Uh, we, you know, we should be talking this shit up, talking this shit up. We plan to do another episode and said, fuck it, this one comes first. Post but, this uh, shit in your group chat. You yeah. Send it with your girlfriends. We know they like it. Big facts. Mm-hmm. Your side piece, send it to her. Just delete it after you send it, because... <laughs> I don't tell, say I got you in trouble when your side piece check your when your girl check your Send, phone. Do whatever you got to do. Send it to grandma. She might want to hear us talk. Yeah, you know, she like fire she, content. She looking at she looking at Ramon. She might like Ramon. You never yeah, know. Yeah, she said she sent him a love letter in the mail yesterday. Said, I show you what these gums do, little man. Yeah, so one tooth with it. Super one tooth fox. with it. Silver fox in the head. <laughs> no, gray fox. Gray, gray fox. fox. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Do you remember me? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. All right. Where can right. everybody uh, interact? with us, sir. At Warm the Crib across all platforms. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok. At Warm the Crib on everything. Shout out to my guy D with the breaking in the Canva. Facts. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be using the fuck out that jar. Um, and if you've listened to this, you know what to do. Go ahead to YouTube and watch it. And if you just watch it on YouTube, go ahead to your favorite podcast app and listen to it again because I guarantee you missed a nugget of information. We always drop in chips. So thank you. We'll see you guys next week. See you guys in 15 minutes. Peace. Peace. Damn, I hesitated. So yeah, that you would be ready. <laughs> and that's fucked up. I noticed you hesitate, but I thought you was going.